Hello, Burel. It's great to see you, you here at the LF Chess Olympiad where the LF Superstars is happening. So, could you please tell us that uh, what is your role with Sharjah Chess and uh, tell us a little bit about your journey? Uh, hello, my name is Viorel Yordakescu. I'm Grandmaster from Moldova, working here in Sharjah at Sharjah Chess Club uh, for almost four years. Uh, so I'm the head coach of uh, of the club. I'm working with now I'm working with the uh, young generation, with uh, studi- with my students, with uh, juniors. Uh, before I was a personal coach of uh, Grandmaster Salem, working uh, with uh, him for uh, two years from 2000 to 2022. Uh, yeah, so this is really a great event. Um, well, of course uh, we are all supporting Salem. My students are playing in side events like uh, Blitz Tournament, participating in uh, uh, simultaneous with Grandmasters. And of course, we are preparing now for Asian uh, Junior Championship, which is uh, going to uh, uh, going to hell to hell in, into going to and um, some in a couple of weeks. Uh, so you have been a top player from your country and then you switched to coaching. Could you please tell me that about your early days and uh, what is the chess uh, scenario in your country right now? Yeah, uh, so, uh, well, uh, I, I've played for my country since Olympiad 1994 in Moscow. Uh, yeah, and uh, last time I played just a week ago in European Championship. Uh, I'm from Moldova and uh, surprisingly chess is uh, developing in Moldova. Honestly, it's a very big surprise to me because uh, it's not supported so much uh, by uh, government, by clubs. Uh, the last Olympiad in India, we managed to uh, to get the highest result ever possible. So Moldova got uh, sixth place, which is amazing. It's an amazing result. And we even we played with uh, without our uh, two, let's say, Strongest Grandmaster, me and Grandmaster Bologan, who is nowadays uh, FIDE technical director. But we have uh, a young generation, a very strong young generation. I mean, uh, Ivan Skitsko, who already drew a couple of times against uh, Magnus Carlsen, including in this European Championship. We have a couple of international masters who uh, are at age of, let's say, about 20. And we have also some uh, international masters, let's say age, aged uh, 17, 18. So for Moldova, this is uh, not bad because uh, chess honestly is not that popular. Let's say as, uh, as in India or not so much supported as here in UAE. Um, so um, I think I played for 11 times, 11 Olympiads for my country. Yeah, so 1994, 96 in Erevan, 98 in Elista. 2002 in Slovenia, I think, 2004 in Spain, I think, 2006 in, um, okay, I forgot already, in, in, in Italy, I think, in Torino, 2008, 2010, 2012, and so on. So, uh, yeah, and um, I, I guess that is some kind of a record. I don't think uh, many players have played that many Olympiads. Well, I don't believe it is. I think uh, Mr. Korchnoi was... <laughs> but maybe some other grandmasters, they've played more. Uh, I'm planning actually to play uh, next year Olympiad. If, if, the, if uh, the national coach will, uh, will uh, select me. So, um, well, it is actually... I'm, nowadays I'm not playing so much. I mean, one or two classical tournaments per year. Uh, I'm focused on my... Uh, Working here, and uh, I'm more than seven years now in the Emirates. Before I was coach of uh, coaching Abu Dhabi Chess Club, so uh, here I managed to probably to to produce the biggest, uh, let's say, result in here in UAE. Uh, I made a world champion under eight a girl here, Rodar Sarkal. She won a world championship under eight. And then, and it was not a, like a, a let's say like a, a unique result because. Uh, Next year, she she did repeat it. Yeah, she became a world champion under nine in school championships. So, uh, yeah, and then I uh, changed here, switch here. And so also I worked for two years with Salem, which was very productive in a way, I would say, because uh, he was uh, keeping the, the level of 2690. And when he made a slight progress, 
um, there. And uh, honestly, nowadays I feel more comfortable working with juniors because I believe this is uh, my uh, exactly my field where I can be the most useful. Yeah, working with let's say juniors age of 12 to age of 20. I'm uh, I have a lot of experience working uh, and. Uh, uh, my student Abdurrahman uh, Altahir won a, a title of FIDE Master. Also, he played uh, for the national team at the Olympiad in India. Uh, he got the rating uh, of 2250, which is an achievement here in the Emirates because here is a little bit specific. Um, yeah, also, all my students they won um, the championships, uh, UAE championships, uh, uh, and then their age group like under 20, 18, 16, 14. And uh, yeah, so the work is continuing and uh, with this uh, kind of events, we are uh, hoping to bring more chess players, more kids uh, uh, into the game, to our game, to our club and uh, of course to develop chess here in the, in the country, in the UAE. That is a huge body of work you have already put into. So, but uh, we wanted to know that how did the shift from such a, uh, like a, professional chess player to a professional coach, now the head coach of Sharjah Sharjah Chess Club. How did that happen? Well, it was for me easy because uh, I was always coaching. (laughs) Starting even at the age of 18, (laughs) I was already coaching. Uh, I had my students, so for me it was easy. Mm -hmm. Then uh, probably my, uh, let's say, um, uh, I would say maybe it's the brightest, let's say, part of chess. It was when I was... uh, coach and second of Ugar Gashimov for three years he was uh, he reached the uh, number 10 in the world or nine even uh, unfortunately he passed away very young so uh, yeah I was uh, for uh, for four years almost four years his uh, personal coach and, and second and then uh, I finished my career as a chess player okay playing very rarely time to time for national team for my national team for uh, uh, clubs and uh, training kids is something natural for me I like it very much I like uh, to see them growing to uh, uh, achieving uh, results so it's it was for me something easy and natural to the switch so I don't know <laughs> I feel I feel great uh, sharing my experience with uh, young generation uh, UAE uh, and particularly Sharjah in chess is doing fabulous work, right? Uh, the entire all the Emirates are doing. Sharjah is going uh, all out to promote chess and to promote its youngsters. How do you see the future of UAE uh, as a talent in chess? Yeah, so uh, there are many, let's say, talented kids here in Sharjah Club in uh, UAE. But the problem is the. I would say the motivation, yeah, because here the the level of life is higher and being or becoming a grandmaster is not uh, really, uh, let's say, an achievement or a chance to to improve your quality, life quality, yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, by, let's say, uh, having, let's say, uh, the normal way of, uh, let's say, school, college, uh, and then you get a job and it's, you don't need so much investment of energy, time, and so on, and you can have it like normal and high standard life here. But uh, becoming a grandmaster chess player, it's you should invest more time, of course. You practically you should sacrifice a lot of things. I mean, uh, okay, I don't want to say like personal life and so on, but it's still you sh- you sacrifice, and uh, and the future is not that uh, let's say. Um, uh, simply our and it's not that um, clear so um, yeah this is probably the the problem motivation and uh, actually I'm the let's say the the, the period where uh, let's say we can produce results is exactly from let's say age of uh, 8 to 18 where they are still in the high school in, in the sorry in school and here um, yeah this is actually my goal yeah to make them uh, or make them reach let's say good results or maybe some titles and if let's say uh, some they will want to continue of course i will help them the of course the biggest example is salem who likes chess very much who is uh, working i mean day and night uh, he is addicted to chess and this is good this is a great example and i hope uh, young generations seeing him uh, playing here, we playing at a uh, um, high level. Uh, they will follow his example. 
Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Uh, we are really happy that you are uh, here uh, to support your uh, young uh, students and we wish you all the very best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.